My parents took my whole life from me, but now I'm taking my life back. Life may have been bad, but it made me strong. I fought to become the person I am. I saw my dad change my mom. They almost changed me, but I realized what was happening. I immediately did what I could to not become like that. I'm a fighter, I'm strong, and I'm shooting through life like a rocket. I love both of my parents so much. Although it may not have been the best way of raising us, I am glad that they did, because it made me the person I am today. I just want to thank them for teaching me about God and faith. I hope that they never lose their faith. God looks at the heart, and I... And I know he sees theirs. A, a mix of messages today. At times, the children said they felt their parents were overwhelmed with 13 children and had made bad choices but still loved them. At the same time, the son who spoke talked about still having nightmares after having watched his siblings being beaten and put in chains. Louise and David Turpin will both now serve life in prison with the first possibility of parole in 25 years. They admitted to the torture and abuse of their children after one of their daughters escaped, calling 911 for help, detailing more than a decade of horrific prison-like conditions in the home with little education and sparse food. Now, before the children spoke, Louise Turpin smiled at times, speaking with her attorney, but both she and David Turpin broke down when they spoke afterwards. I am so proud of each and every one of my children. I miss all of my children, and I will be praying for them. Along with the opportunity to have contact with them again. Thank you. I'm sorry for everything I've done to hurt my children. I love my children so much. I'm blessed to be the mother of each one of them. I only want the best for them. Their happiness is very important to me. They are very smart, amazing individuals. I hope they all I hope they get all the education they need to make their dreams come true. And today the children talked about getting on with their lives, doing things like learning to ride a bike, eat healthy, and going to school. Peter Suzanne, the judge, also said protective orders are going to be in place, limiting any contact uh, with the parents, between the parents and the children. Those are going to differ for each child. And he said it's the parent's responsibility to really rear the child, and any success these children have now will not be due to anything the parents did, but in spite of it.